Welcome to Norfolk Perspective City Slice. I'm Bob Batcher and Diana Ross is in the studio <laughs> with Hugh Copeland. Yes, I always bring you top quality, right? I know it. I'm Diana impressed. Ross for the holidays. What could be better? Well, you know, but, well, having Amari <laughs> Edwards here would be yes. even better. Yes, <laughs> Miss Amari. How you doing? I'm good. Happy to be here. How does it feel to be sitting on an orange sofa in a red <laughs> dress as Diana Ross? I feel like royalty, just how empowering Diana Ross is and how confident she is just to be playing her and it's awesome. Okay, and, and the red is for a reason. <laughs> well, We're talking the holidays and we can't talk the holidays without talking about hurrah. That's it, because hurrah is for the holidays. It's our annual show that we create in the style of Radio City Music Hall. People love it, you don't have to go to New York. You can come right downtown to the Roper. We have that 20 foot Christmas tree Snow's on stage, we have excellent performers, the Teddy Bear Chorus. It's a wonderful show for the entire family that celebrates the holidays, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, uh, and the joy of peace. It's awesome. Right there at the Roper. Right here. On December? 11, 12, and 13th. And tickets are still available. Right. But going fast, so to get them are. out. This is always a pop, one of our most popular shows. Okay. And who writes this? Well, we put it together. I, when we do the Hurrah for the Holidays, we know we want to do some of the traditional songs. We knew we want new songs. We want surprises. We want it paced so you got some of the fast-paced numbers as, some, as well as some of the slower, more meaningful holiday songs. So I put it together, and we know every year, too, we need to make it fresh. We can't do the mm -hmm. same old show every year, so we always have to have a different opening. We use some of the video to enhance what's happening on stage. So it's a process of creating the show to make sure we give the entire family something they'll enjoy. Because I don't think I've ever told you this, Hugh, but a couple of years ago we went up to New York. Yes. And we saw Radio City Music Hall. Mm -hmm. And I got halfway through and I said, you know, I've seen some of this show. Yeah. We, uh, Am I giving something away? No, we have the Lisa Wallace Hurrah Kick Line. Yeah. Yes, we have the wonderful dancers, plus we sing the traditional songs. Uh, we have the family units. We have everybody in their pajamas around the tree. Uh, and then the show ends with songs of peace, all in white with candles. People love the whole meaning of Yeah, and that's dance. when you must sit home and say, okay, we're going to make them cry. Yeah, right. You want them to feel the uh, essence of the real meaning of Christmas and family. So, so you know how much money I spent going to New York? See, you could so just So this come. must be an expensive show. It is. It's expensive for us as far as timing and the work we have to go into it. For the entire family, $25 is the top ticket and 20 for kids to see this entire two-hour holiday treasure. It is awesome. Now, and then right after that, though, you kind of switch gears all over the place. That's it. Well, we do two shows during the holidays. Yeah. We also do the best Christmas pageant ever which is a very meaningful play written by Barbara Robinson. And it's about the real meaning of Christmas. It's about this awful family, who are the awful kids that just terrorize the whole town until they discover the meaning of Christmas. And it's a, this is our 23rd year doing that play. We do it for the schools, and then we do the public show uh, December the 12th at 7 p.m. So yeah, we have two shows. You come and you can... Jo rejoice with all the music, but then you also have to play the best Christmas pageant. Yeah, and I bawled my eyes out twice yes, in one right. day. Yes, thanks to you a couple yeah. of years ago. Thank you very now, much. Now, we got I got to ask you about is the youngster Peggy going to be in it? Peggy Young plays Helen Armstrong in the best Christmas pageant ever for the 23rd year. She was with, with us when we started in 1992, and she's still in that hospital bed rolling on out. She says it doesn't take as much aging makeup as it did. She says that. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that either. <laughs> she How about you? That. Did you see you? No, no, no. No, nah, you'd never yeah. say that. Now, okay, you're going to be Diana Ross in the in the yes. holiday show too? Yes. Amongst other, she's also one of Lisa Wallace's kickline dancers. Plus, uh, she's also in the tap numbers and the jazz numbers and the musical theater numbers. Uh, she's a busy girl. Uh, yes. Somebody told me you were a triple threat. Yes, well. Huh? And that wasn't your yeah. mom that said it either. <laughs> no, she's great. She loves to sing. She loves to dance. And the wonderful thing about her is that she learns and she's willing to learn. She enjoys the process. She's there always. And that's what Hero is about. We give a lot of people want mm -hmm. to perform. But do you want the opportunity to learn your craft? Are you willing to come to classes? We have that bumper sticker that says, I can't, dot, 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 I have rehearsal. 
If people ask Samara or anybody else what that means, we know they're not in theater. You want to go to Bush Gardens? I can't. I have rehearsal. You want to go to Sleepover? I can't have rehearsal. So that's like our motto, and it's our bumper sticker. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Mario, you're going to sing at the end of the show. Yes. The song lasts a couple of minutes, right? Yes, I'll be singing One More Sleep by Leona Lewis in, in the, the style, style of, of Diana, Diana Ross. Ross. Yeah. Now, how much time have you spent singing that song, would you say? Hmm. <laughs> I've had it for about two weeks, yeah, and I've yeah. been going over it every Includes day. Includes a shower, too, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those warm ups. Okay, so it's a lot of work. I'm gonna, I want to spend yeah. a couple of minutes with you behind the scenes. It's over 40 songs. Okay. Singing and how big a cast? Dance. The cast is 80. We start <sighs> with uh, the junior company, and then we have the teens, and then we have our large adult company. So if you're going to do a holiday show, you need all those people to represent the entire family. Uh, so uh, so we, from what age to what age? I think the youngest in the show is six, mm -hmm. and. It's no secret, Co Harrison, our dancing Mrs. Santa Claus, I think is 85. She'll be celebrating her 66th wedding anniversary this year. Again, you said it, not me. Oh, she tells people. She was a USO dancer, 1943 through 1947. She's an incredible teacher, performer, and uh, inspiration to us all because she loves performing and she's just a great addition to our Hurrah Players family. Last year, I understand you're bringing a song back from last year that just kind of blew everybody away. Which the song? The sailor coming in from... Oh, we always liked it. Yes. The end of Act One, I'll be home for Christmas. We have an uh -huh. actual soldier come through the aisle coming home for Christmas, and that um, really uh, um, you, hits home. I mean, can I give it away? Yes. I mean, you, got a, you got a secret this year for the guy that's doing it, right? I mean, he's a special well, guy. Well, yeah, Ryan right. Bailey is yeah. our soldier. And it uh, so happens that he's a great nephew of Co. So when he comes on the stage and welcomes home to welcome to see his grandma on stage, it is Co. And he said his whole family, that will give a special meaning to that. Well, only Hugh Copeland can take a U.S. Marine <laughs> yes. and turn him into a lion. A, a, a yeah, he was a lion in The Wizard of Oz, and now he's a very passionate uh, soldier coming home for the holiday show. Well, and I tell you what, I mean, it's not just what Hurrah does. It's not just the, the awesome productions, but I saw the same guy. Yes. Over at... Nauticus? No, he was over at uh, the after-school program. Oh, yeah, he's an outreach. And just my, my heart yeah. went out. He's an kids. outreach instructor for Hurrah Players. One of our missions is to go into the community and give... Uh, kids who normally wouldn't the opportunity to experience theater and to learn the process. He's a great teacher and he loves working with those kids and uh, yeah. And then Nauticus had that big Halloween ship on the Wisconsin and he was a pirate. So he's very uh, versatile and very talented and uh, that's what we love about Hurrah. It gives you the opportunity to mm -hmm. explore your talents and then once you realize what you're good at to really work at it. Okay, now somebody asked me if I wanted to go to New York. It was going to be like $1,000 to go per person. I want to circle back around. Mid-December. Yeah, December 11, 12th, and 13th. You come right downtown to the Roper, the best ticket prices in town. The whole thrill of the holidays. You see the hurrah for the holiday show. And then for the meaningful play, the best Christmas pageant ever. And so that's a major investment, maybe about 40 bucks, 50 bucks between the Only two shows. Only $25 per show, and for kids it's 20 Yeah, and then you can come and have dinner on Granby Street. All those restaurants, restaurants. And the restaurants at the mall, so at, at MacArthur Center. Rather. But, you know, we probably shouldn't talk about all those restaurants because she's not going to be able to eat. Right, and this uh, down to stress, you know, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. But grilled cheese would go great with that. Yeah, right. right. Uh -huh. Or Gersh. Yeah, oh, right. We just yeah, started naming right. all the big supporters uh -huh. of, uh, yeah. of her. Thanks for making the holidays really special. We love being here telling the community that uh, we, really it's an opportunity to see Hurrah at its finest because, as you mentioned, we have performers of all ages in our company. They get to perform, uh, and we, we, so we show we really are a family. Yeah. And we're using the Tide this year as part of our um, pre-video pre to get people interested ah. in riding the tide. And so you think he might be on a sleigh, but in he the Actually, Santa might be coming in on the tide. There's some things you're just going to tease me about, right? Yep, that's right. Awesome. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm really excited about hearing... Yes. Diane. Uh, Diana <laughs> Ross. Marat, you know what? Let's go for it. And <laughs> yeah. uh, Mari Edwards, you, re you really represent what Hurrah's about, and that's not... It's, it's, it's really super talent. 
uh, through our youth and also through And her the dedication and that of her family. They really have the opportunity to come and they give it all. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the parade and on the show. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you know you. what? You ready to sing? Yes. Okay, let's set it up. Christmas. I've been up all night singing one tune. He said that he'll be back real soon. So I wait and I wait. But I've had as much as I can take. Cause I've got five more 